my awesome, fabulous and fearless Virgos. I love you guys so much. Virgos, thank you for your beautiful energy. Your beautiful letters that I keep getting. I still have some that I need to answer. So please give me one or two more days and I will be able to get back to you if you haven't heard from me back. Virgos, I love you. You are fabulous. Uh, thank you for your beautiful energy towards me and your blessings and gratitude. Um, I missed you. Hope you're doing wonderful. So Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, Virgo, especially in relation to you at this time. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo. For Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming towards Virgo in their life? And how is Virgo currently doing on the soulmate journey? Mm, this one wants to come out very strongly as extra message, Virgo. Oh my goodness, Virgo. This is you worrying too much about things uh, around you. Things beyond your control. Yeah, this is you worrying so much that you don't sleep well. And when you do fall asleep... Uh, you're really not resting. Your mind is still working, still processing, still analyzing. You feel a lot of pressure from the outside of your uh, own circle. Like you have a lot of stress because of other people or situations around you that are beyond your control, really. Yeah, this is you trying to balance yourself, balance your energy. Okay. You feel a lot of deep love for somebody and you're not expressing that love to them. You're not telling them. You see, this is you not telling them. This is you suffering, um, not telling how much you love this person. Wow. Whoever that person is, is thinking of you heavily. This is them taking action towards you. So this person is coming towards you. They are in your subconscious position. We haven't asked about them directly yet. We will in a few minutes. But they're showing up already in your reading. So this person is uh, thinking of you heavily. You are heavily on their mind and they want to take action towards you. I love that they're showing up as a king of wands, king of action, kings and queens, mature energy. You are showing up as a queen, whether you're male or female. They could be either gender, any sign. You know, please show us what's coming towards Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey. Wow. Somebody, whoever this person is, wants to offer you a long-term relationship. They, they view you as someone serious in their life. A lot of you are dealing with another Virgo. Also, fire signs showing up very strongly. Well, all signs are showing up. But this shows Virgo, strong Virgo energy. Um, whoever it is, no matter what sign or gender they are, they have a lot that they want to express to you. Yeah, you see, this is you wanting to show this person how you feel. <sighs> My goodness, this is heavy energy. Yeah. You are concentrating heavily on your money, finances, business. Financial independence, prosperity, yes, you feel unbalanced, you worry too much. This person has been in and out of your life, in and out of your life, it looks like. Like they haven't offered you uh, stability for some reason, whether they couldn't or didn't want to, whatever the reason was. You worry a lot about things that are going on around you, collectively speaking, affecting a lot of people. You worry too much. Um, hmm. 
if you're watching news too much, uh, you're really going to be let down. So be very careful. I mean, I'm not saying don't watch news, but make sure that you, you are selective what you watch because it can really get you down emotionally and depress you. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on this soulmate journey? This person of yours, whoever they are, are reminiscing of you, thinking of you, wanting to see you. See, six of cups, emotions, deep emotions, feelings, past life connection with this person. That means you're going to see them again in future incarnations, lifetimes. Yeah, so this is them. They have their own drama they're dealing with in their life. And this is them trying to move on with their life successfully, leave behind toxic uh, situations, uh, heal. Yeah, move on. Yeah, they love you. This person loves you. Uh, Queen of Cups showing up here. They feel, no, yeah, you see, you hiding it from them, they hiding it from you. So you guys need to communicate. There is problem with communication between you two. You see, the Ace of Swords is pointing down and here you see Four of Swords, silence, no communication or very limited communication. Let's see what's going on with this person, this King of Wands. Let's see, I love King of Wands energy and King of and King of um, Pentacles that showed up uh, with the smaller tarot deck. Universe, please show us the soulmate of Virgo. The soulmate of Virgo, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo? And how is the soulmate of Virgo currently relating to Virgo, especially emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind in relation to Virgo? Ooh, this one is looking at me as extra message. What's going on with your soulmate? They want to communicate. This is them. They have a lot to express to you. They've been holding communication back. They have a lot to express to you because they're surrounded by four birds. There's a lot they want to say. This is uh, Ace of Swords showing up here as sideways. So they're not sure if they need to wait for you or if they need to reach out on their own. Yeah, you see, this person's heartbroken. This person feels heartbreak. This is them guarding their heart. They know they are at a crossroads in this connection with you and they need to initiate some kind of communication. They're trying to figure out how to go about it. They're heartbroken, yeah, they're trying to heal. This is them taking their time, looking at everything objectively, being patient. Ooh. What happened? This person feels depressed, heartbroken. They think they lost you for good, that you don't love them or you're done with them. You still love this person, but they don't know it. They think you're done with them. You don't love them. They think they lost you. This is them feeling deep regret, heartbreak. Yeah, you see? They feel like you walked away from them, like you gave up on them. Uh, whether you stopped communicating, reaching out to them, they noticed a difference in your behavior towards them. Nervous, please show us um, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Virgo and how is the soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time? Yeah, you see, this person wants to charge towards you. They want communication to happen uh, after being silent. Uh, this person has been in and out of your life. They've been inconsistent in your life. Yeah. A lot of you are dealing with Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, see, they feel like they need to explain things to you. This also means sometimes apologies, peace offerings, gifts, explanations. Ooh, this person loves you deeply, but is not telling you. This is deep love, uh, genuine love. Uh, this is unexpressed, hidden love. Uh, and they're holding two cups, so they're trying to figure out what it is you possibly feel towards them at this time, whether it's matching their, their um, feelings for you or not. So this person loves you deeply and is trying to figure out what it is you feel for them. They love you genuinely, deeply. Yeah, you see, they depressed because they feel like they ruined uh, or lost this relationship. They were hoping to have long-term relationship with you. This means marriage. This means living together. Uh, so I don't know if you, some of you were married to this person or living with them or they were planning to do so. They're very depressed that they lost you. A lot of you are dealing with the Taurus. 
See, they were wishy-washy in your life. You didn't know where you stand with them. They didn't communicate with you. They didn't express to you how they feel, where you stand in their life. You see, uh, they lost you. You finally uh, let them go. Yeah, you see, they want to end this silent treatment. They want to communicate with you. They want to clear the air with you. Yeah, they have a lot of passion for you. Love and passion. They want new beginning. Yeah, you see? So they're showing up again as king of uh, pentacles for second time. Um, hmm. And king of cups and king of wands. Um, yeah, so this person wants to come forward with some kind of solid offer towards you because they realize how much they love you and they can't release you. But it looks like this person took you for granted when they had you. They didn't either recognize your worth as a person in their life or they didn't recognize how much they loved you. You see, now that you're gone, they see it. Yeah, you see, they have a great need to express something to you, to tell you something. But they're scared of your judgment. You told them off in the past. They're scared of hearing uh, uh, harsh judgment from you towards them. But um, it looks like the universe is re recognizing the fact that uh, you had grounds to be judgmental because they wouldn't hear you any other way. You had to uh, let them know in a blunt way exactly what time it is a lot of you are dealing with a gemini here hmm this is this is intense let me see what's going on here you know please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of virgo and how is the soulmate of virgo towards virgo at this time yeah you see they want to take a leap of faith towards you yeah i see they do love you i can't deny that this person genuinely does love you, deep love for you, very connected with you spiritually and emotionally. You two will see each other again in future lifetimes, no matter what happens in this lifetime. Yeah, you see, they want to come back with solid offer for the third time showing up as King of Pentacles. What this person truly wants with you is reconciliation because they love you. That's what they really want. But they're scared that you may be done with them. Uh, Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading and we're going to ask what they're planning uh, at this time, long term for you. What they're planning, what they up to. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships. Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Virgo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.